Greetings, family. We're going to tap into this 432 hertz universal current to tap into harmony with the universe. The energy of the central sun as well as the sun of our solar system. Thank you. Namaste. Still, this and blessed family. Love and light, like this candle for protection. Love and light, healthy wholeness. Still, this and blessings. Love and light, healthy wholeness. Little nag champel for us. Still, this and blessings. Love and light, healthy wholeness. I'm um. Most certainly happy to be in this energetic space with y'all. It's been a long, exhausting day, you know, but you gotta shake it off as, as you go. Every day not gonna be the same. So I hope, I hope uh, <coughs> I, I'm finding everyone in the highest vibration possible and the highest version of yourself. Um, I went against the grain today. I did a, a reading anyway, so I'm gonna get right off into that. When I did a collective reading for the day, it kind of was a repeat um, of the reading that I that I uh, did previously. The first card was mental conflict. So that was speaking to the same emotional card, emotional loss card that we pulled yesterday. Um, once again, like I said yesterday, it was only in the head. 
it, the card came back, mental conflict, whatever is going on, whoever I'm speaking to, it's over with. You're holding it in your head. Whatever occurred, you're holding on to it. You're holding on to the memory of it, and therefore it's causing problems in what's going on around you. Um, it's a time for emotional withdrawal. It's time to get in solitude. In order to withdraw, you got to let go of the mental conflict that's, that's eating you up. Time to meditate, 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 meditate. Um, and that was the number, that was the number eight card, emotional withdrawal. Um, and the last card was patience. Whatever it is you're seeking, you gotta wait on it. In the, in the meantime, you got work to do on yourself. Um, somebody need to work on their sacral chakra. And on the bottom of the deck is power. Work on your sacral chakra because that's where the power at. With that, we're going to proceed to the ADK loop. Law of life. I hope that was insightful for someone. Um, and in reflection to what the cards just spoke, my forward is kind of, you know, hitting off of that. Um, my fourth for, for forward for the day is never show your strength when there is no opponent. Who are you trying to impress anyway? Never show your strength when there is no opponent. You have no one to impress. And nine times out of ten, if, if a person like me and in their own lane, they don't care about what you're doing anyway, what you got going on anyway. <clears throat> be mindful of who may be a bridge for you to cross over or who may be a block to stop you or delay you. Be humble. Don't be humble at all. Being humble don't work as well as being a well. Being humble does not work as well as being aware. And the reason that I say that is <clears throat> Because if you're aware, you're not even in a compromising position. If you're aware, you will keep yourself out of a compromising position of having to be humble by anything outside yourself. <clears throat> Find better ways to do your job more effectively and efficiently. And sometimes that takes being open to suggestions. <clears throat> Um, that message came from a 441 synchronicity that prompted me today, which is which equals nine, um, as well as a 1223 frequency that prompted me. But the 441 frequency prompted me, or sequence synchronicity prompted me to write, find better ways to do your job more effectively and efficiently. And sometimes that takes being open to suggestions. And this kind of feed off yesterday too with some things that was going on in the collective energy. We create our own reality with our thoughts, intentions, and beliefs. Y'all notice I went here, here, and here? <laughs> We create our own th reality with our thoughts, intentions, and beliefs. Keep a positive and optimistic attitude and outlook of expectancy of good things to ensure that you manifest good results. Ask 
ask for guidance and assistance if you need help. Especially if you need help being consistent and maintaining a positive outlook. Because everybody not down every day. So I'm sure we all got somebody that no matter what's going on, they always happy all the time. That's what you want to be around. Ask for guidance and assistance if you need help being consistent, being happy, being positive, being in joy, being, finding humor in things, being kind to yourself. Ask for assistance. And expect miracles. Expect the miraculous. Don't take no for an answer and your solutions will appear as you need them. A lot of us get outside of what we're able to manifest or accomplish or achieve at the particular moment that we're trying to do it because we're too far ahead of ourselves. <clears throat> we need to take, we need to step back and allow for the things to occur as they would and for the best outcome. <clears throat> Last but not least, <clears throat> Nobody is nobody. Everybody is somebody. Thank you, wonderful people. We're going to proceed to the ADK loop, book two, Law of Life. We're still on the session of uh, Cosmic <clears throat> Ascended Masters, pardon me, Ascended Masters, Cosmic and Divine Beings. <clears throat> and we're on the seven Elohim, Elohim. Um, the Elohim <clears throat> the Elohim direct the one creative power force they direct and operate the creative energy of a universe the seven Elohim <clears throat> are the builders of this system the energy used on the planet and its mankind comes from the central sun through the sun of the system and then through the seven Elohim where it is diversified. <clears throat> if if y'all, for those who've been rocking with me, <clears throat> if you notice, you'll see. And if you have, depending on how much you have been studied, you'll see a recurring pat pattern taking place where you'll see, where you can see, no matter the religion, you can see a synchronicity. <laughs> there it is again, synchronicity of similarity and correspondence taking place. Just different names, but the same the same elements is involved. And that's the synchronicity. So that proves there is no separation. It's just people practice things from different places. So in a dialogue, it may sound different, but but if it has any universal truth to it, you should you you, you will be able to connect the dots. The energy used on a planet and its mankind comes from the central sun through the sun of the system and then through the seven Elohim where it is diversified. <clears throat> Thus are the seven rays to a planet directed through the seven Elohim. The seven rays of a light, the seven rays of light are directed by seven great beings known as the Elohim. <clears throat> they are great cosmic beings from out the central sun. <clears throat> the seven Elohim are the conductors of the seven activities of the Godhead through the seven rays. They represent the seven attributes of form to the planet. The seven Elohim represent the mental activities and qualities of the Creator. A tiny flame from each of their life streams is anchored in the forehead of every individual and body on earth. They give of their faculties and consciousness to every life stream through the sevenfold flame anchored in the forehead. This comes through the intellect to assist in holding a balance and fulfilling the divine plan in the outer world. Their rays are also directed through the archangels. Elohim were elementals and became Elohim. Then they become cosmic silent watches, if they wish. The seven Elohim and their twin rays or divine complements are as follows. Ray one, Hercules, masculine aspect. Feminine aspect, Amazon. 
Two, Cassiopeia. Feminine aspect, Minerva. Three, Orion. Feminine aspect, Angelica. Four, Eloa of Purity, also known as Claire. Feminine aspect, Astrea. <laughs> Fifth ray, Vista, also known as Cyclopia. Feminine aspect, Crystal. Sixth ray, Eloa of Peace, also known as Tranquility. Feminine aspect, Pacifica. Seventh, Arcturus. Feminine aspect, Diana. Hercules is the lower of power. He is the lower on the first ray. He represents God's will. His is the action to do the will of God. He, he is guardian of the energy released and used on the planets. So y'all be, <clears throat> for, for those who are saying higher understanding, we're talking more about energies than people. But these energies can be recognized in people, in human beings. Hercules summoned the other Elohim to carry out Helios and Vesta's plan for the creation of this system. He is known for power and strength, but his power is love, not his form or body. Although he is nearly 14 feet in height, one can call to him for courage and strength. Power is concentrated energy, force of action. His predominant color is blue. <clears throat> Amazon is also of large stature and very powerful. Cassiopeia is the Elo Eloa of wisdom. He directs and governs the actions of perception, comprehension, illumination, understanding, and the power of concentrated, concentrated, concentrated attention. Cassiopeia is the Eloa of the second rate. His predominant color is yellow gold. Minerva is also known as the goddess of wisdom. Orion is the law of divine love. There are several beings referred to as Orion. The law of the third ray is one. He governs the activity of divine love, cosmic love. Within this love is the cohesive power that draws and holds form together. The predominant color is pink. Angelica, as the name implies, carries the quality of extreme love. The law of purity also known as Claire, represents cosmic purity to this system, which maintains perfection. He is the Eloa of the fourth ray. He will release the cosmic blue lightning of divine love at one's call into any condition or through the inner bodies to shatter hard or accumulated substance, meaning if you calcify. It can then more readily be transmuted. The blue lightning explodes the center of destructive focuses, vortices, releasing the life essence. This releases the elementals that vow to remain and obey destructive force, forces. That life essence can then return to the sun for repolarization. This is how epidemics can be stopped. The color is predominantly white or crystal. A low of purity its asterisk services are uh, in low hour of purities and asterisk services are they purify the purifying of the atmosphere of earth and mankind's inner bodies in general as well as individuals. Their service in this solar system is the holding of the divine or perfect concept for the earth and all here on. Astra is a great cosmic being who came forth into definite action in 1939. This particular action is the consuming and transmuting of the psychic or astral substance in the atmosphere as well as those qualities in the individual life streams when the call is made. The circle and sword of blue flame are used for this action. This great being has been instrumental in the tremendous task of removing the black magicians. The great number of disembodied individuals that were earthbound and much of the psychic substance, the destructive forces, and vortices. When Astra first came forth, this being was referred to as masculine. Then, some years later, it was given out that Astra was the twin ray of the Eloa of Purity, and therefore taken to be the feminine aspect instead of masculine. However, since they can operate or work from either the masculine or the feminine 
aspect, it can readily be seen that because of the nature of the task undertaken at that time, the masculine aspect may have been used. Astria rendered a great service for Seattle, Washington, September 22, 1938, during that class there. It was stated July 16, 1939, that Astria had decided to come forth and move through the atmosphere of Earth. Later, it was said she would continue at least until the end of January 1940. She has constantly answered the calls of the students since that time. Astria is from the fourth sphere. <clears throat> Vista is known to some as, as Cyclope, but is known as Vista in the inner realms. He is their law of concentration and consecration. He is also the law of music. He is the law of the fifth ray. He governs the all-seeing eye of God to this system. All activity is sight, hearing, and speech. Healing is one of his actions also. His action is concentration, consecration, and the action of seeing vistas ahead. Vista works from the emerald and crystal temples. The predominant color is green. Um, before I continue on, we're going to finish off beginning with Vista tomorrow because this session is short and I want to put it like in two pieces before we go on. So I thank y'all. I thank y'all and I thank y'all for your attention, for your time, for your hearing, for your love, for your support, for your donations. Um. Relax, chill out, tune in, tap in, meditate, find solitude, get in nature, drink plenty of water, fruits and vegetables, and do what's necessary to become the highest version of yourself. With that being said, stillness and blessings, love and light, health and wholeness. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. One, this is with God.